Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith went to Paul George's podcast and he was talking about how he regret slander and Kwame Brown. Let's check out the clip of Stephen A. Smith on Paul George's podcast and let's reveal what he had to say about Kwame Brown. Here's the video. There is no denying, even though I hate bringing up his name because it just <laughs> gives him a reason to, you know, gain attention. But Kwame Brown. <laughs> look, man. Uh oh. Look. Oh, shoot. Look. Look. <laughs> Kwame Brown, I know what I said. I did mean it. I ain't going to sit here and tell you I ain't mean the shit I said. Mm hmm. Kwame Brown is gone. The City of Angels, Hollywood, just should be celebrated. Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this oh, they hey. gave up too much? Please. The Los Angeles Angeles Lakers knew exactly what they were doing. They should be celebrating right now, and Kobe Bryant should not be saying a word. But I didn't know it was going to be like this. I didn't know that. Remember, I said it before Twitter, Facebook. I didn't know, man. I didn't know that 20, you know, 20 years later, 15 years later, they won't have memes and videos. I didn't know, y'all. I really, really did it, man. And, and when I see what he says, I realize how hurt he is. And this is what Kwame had to say about Stephen A. Smith. Let's check out this clip right here. Why is there no black boy magic? Why was Stephen A. going to colleges talking about uh, NBA player, whether he was good or bad? He was at high schools. He was at colleges. What was so special about me that I needed a NBA analyst to go to high schools and college? And you've created a word called bus to where everything that I say now has been invalidated by this word bus. I'm a number one draft pick. You're looking at history in a room. Stephen A. Smith, a guy who can't do what I do, came up with a word that a guy working at Walmart can use against me and think it has some power. How much power does that word have? It has it power for as dealerships, deals and sponsorships. Who wants to work with a bus? And no matter what he said, no matter the bravado, no matter how hardcore he comes at it, I know you don't do stuff like he does from time to time and talk about people unless you hurt. You just look at him and, and you see some of the stuff that he's saying and stuff and it's like, yo, dude, it's like you that you that hurt. You know, like and the one time I had to address it, because I felt like he was coming at me like I was scared. Even there, you bald forehead, people thinking you tough, saying all kind of shit. Like, oh, then you come see me. Well, sign up. Let's go to Seattle and you sign up. Well, Seattle, you ain't got to sign no waiver. Meet me in Seattle where you can have mutual combat and talk like that. Ah, slap a two. It'll look like you got a toupee on the front of your head or how hard I slap the back of your head, mother. The hell you talking about? Wait a minute. <laughs> let me remind. First of all, I ain't scared. Let me remind you. These are the highlights, you know, and but but I can't even tell you when I did that. The stars who call, mm. I ain't gonna mention, I ain't gonna mention no names. Practically all of them was Hall of Famers. Mm. All of them. In the Hall of Fame, they're like, nah, Steven, nah, nah. And I was like, where were y'all? When he was saying all of this stuff right. for weeks. Right. Right. You know, I didn't say anything. And you know, and and, and him <laughs> and, and Jamie Foxx and, and and so many others, man. And it was like, all right, y'all, I ain't gonna say nothing. They like, we know you ain't scared, we got it. And as I see you know, some of the clips now and some of the stuff that he says, I just like, go ahead, bro. Say what you got to say. So, you know, I, I wish I could do that over. I wouldn't do it. I think an interview with Stephen A. Smith and Kwame Brown, it would do crazy numbers, man. You know, you just got to have the right people being involved that can sit down and moderate the entire conversation. And yeah, man, I think it would be dope to see them have a sit down one on one interview. It will stop this same back and forth going on because this is the same stuff we're hearing over and over, right? So, yeah, man, you know, that's my opinion on it. Uh, if Stephen A. Smith is going to continue to mention Kwame, Kwame is going to continue to mention Stephen A. Smith, and that's pretty much how it's going to go, man. So y'all get in the comment section down below. How do y'all feel about Kwame Brown and Stephen A. Smith having a sit-down interview? Would y'all like to see that? Or do y'all feel like they should just, you know, drop the situation or whatever, man, and just move on and let bygones be bygones? So with that being said, man... Hit that like button if you make this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. And we out, guys. Peace.